Hey, how's it going? This is Joe and Tell. Today we're gonna take a look at acoustically transparent screens and why you might want one. So there are many types of screens out there for projectors. There are some that are matte white, there are some that are ambient light rejecting, and some that are acoustically transparent. And what does that mean? It just means that sound passes through it without really affecting the sound from the back coming out to the front, which is where you're gonna be. Admittedly, this is a very specific use case. If you have a situation where you wanna see the screen, but you don't wanna see the speakers, an acoustically transparent screen might be right for you. So for example, my buddy Youthman has three La Scalas behind his screen. Now, how would you possibly hide that unless you had an acoustically transparent screen? And so in this case, that would be very useful. A lot of people recommend the same left center and right channel and if you have some large speakers like some people in home theaters do then you're going to need an acoustically transparent screen the other thing that's tricky is people recommend that your speakers be at ear level but they also recommend that your screen is somewhat eye level as well so you're not looking up or down at the screen but there's a problem they can't both be at ear level unless you guessed it you're going to need an acoustically transparent screen so today i'm looking at a screen from elite screens and it's their Acoustic Pro 1080p3. This is a 120 inch version and the frame is part of their Sable series. Elite Screens does have different variations of acoustic transparent screens. And so you can take a look on their website and see what suits your taste. The one I have here, the Acoustic Pro 1080p3 is made for front projection. This does have a perforated weave. And so if you look closely, you can actually see that. The one I have here is matte white with a 1.0 gain. This also has a black backing that you put behind the screen, which is also acoustically transparent. And that's helpful if you have some light behind there that might shine through. I've had a few screens from Elite Screens and two out of three were very easy to assemble. This one was one of the easier ones. It was much easier than the one that I have up currently, which is the Aeon series. So if you're worried about having to spend a long time putting this together, you don't have to. Although this is called a 1080p3, keep in mind that this does support 4K screens. It's just that they came out with this model, I assume, before 4K projectors. I've confirmed with them and they've told me, yes, it does support 4K. What I wanna do today is I wanna test to see what difference an acoustic transparent screen makes does it actually change the sound and if so how does it change that sound so i'm going to run a test and the way the test is going to work is basically i'm going to measure the baseline response of a speaker with no screen in front of it and then i'm going to take the screen i'm going to put it in front of it and then take another measurement to see what the difference in frequency response is from there we're going to analyze the charts and see if it's something that your receiver your avr can account for if there's a big change. You'll notice that I have it here just in the middle of the room. Uh, part of that reason is because I don't have space to put speakers behind the screen in a wall. I don't have in-wall speakers, but also because this 120 inch screen is way too huge for my living room. You can kind of see here compared to the 110 inch Aeon Elite screens that I have here, and it is much larger. So here we go about to run the test. So here's the baseline response of these speakers here. So now I'll place the screen in front of this. Keep in mind that the sound has to travel through two materials, the black backing and the front screen. So after various measurements, I've taken the averages and let's take a look at those right now. All right, so here it is before and here is the after. And as you can tell, there's very little difference. You expect to see a difference here in the high frequencies, but nothing significant that I can see. To answer those questions, how did it change the sound? Very minimally, almost to the point where you wouldn't notice a difference either which way. The other thing is the change in sound that it did make, is it something that's correctable? And I would say easily correctable. Anything that's plus or minus three decibels it is within that range. And so I would say if you're concerned about the screen making a difference in the sound of your speakers, changing the sound in a way that is uncorrectable, that's not something that you need to worry about. So regarding the picture quality, I did a quick test using a portable projector that I've recently reviewed. And this thing's only 400 ANSI lumens, so not very bright. And so keep that in mind, I did a test here in the dark. And as you could tell, it looks great. The other thing to notice is that you can't see the weave when you're sitting from a certain distance. Although, of course, if you get really close to the screen, you will see that texture of the material. But from a normal viewing position, 
that is not something that you will be able to see. I've had a good experience with all the screens from Elite Screens, so I would be more than happy to recommend these to anyone. Again, I need to mention that they do have different options on their site. They have a screen where it's actually mounted flush and so you don't actually see anything up there until it rolls down and they have an acoustic transparent version of that one that one's pretty awesome i wish i could do it but i can't but take a look there you'll see a lot of different options anyway that's it take care bye bye elite screens get the big picture